Actually, it's pretty good. Like butter. I know. That went the opposite way than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was further in the ground there. Look at that wood. That is cool. That is cool. It's like brownish red. That so it's like a walnut to me. Yeah. I'm not... Oh, that's, that's nice wood. That's actually kind of cool. Even on the end of it, it's. Yeah, unfortunately, that looks pretty rotted, but it looks. It is cool though. It's better part now, what do you think? Oh, no, that's not me. Oh, well, there we go. That's some neat wood. Five hundred bucks. It wasn't 500 hours, it was 480, 486, but still that's quite a bit. So day, I have not been doing much for several months. That means a lot of my, like, I haven't been spending much money. So I decided to spend 500 bucks on something. <laughs> can you guess what it is? No. I think we can have some fun with it though. And I hope I didn't waste money on it. You wanna play with oh, it? Oh wow. Yeah. It's a nice chainsaw. Yeah, get it out. I uh, I already opened up the box. You can go and rip it open. I already I already opened it up and took the battery out to charge it. it turns out the battery was at like half of a bar or barely at a bar, I assume. So good thing I charged it. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any fun today or Sunday together. Uh, here, remove that cardboard thing. Okay, there we go. electric would be nice. An upgrade from that $25 work thing that I got, you know? Because mm. once I get that David Bradley chainsaw repaired, it's going to be kind of, yeah. So I don't the know. Lock, like, lock, lock is good. Good brand. Well, the other idea I had was, you know, it would be nice to have a big ass battery for my chain, for my uh, power drill. Yeah. But, um, you had a Milwaukee power drill too? Yeah. Oh. Impact drill. Threw me on and gave it to me. So, like. You got bar oil? Yeah, I have a port of it or whatever. So, like, I got this one for 25 bucks a while ago. And it's been doing really well, except for there's no oiler pump. And the oilers are broken. But this one. My friend Arduino vs. Evil did a teardown and he found that there actually is an actual pump so it should actually work. Um, also this is like too small chain. Makes, makes good, good stuff so I imagine... I've heard it's make... pretty good. Um, the only bad thing that I worry about is that it might have a high pitched squ squealing sound. I'm gonna get some bar and chain oil. 
Oh my god, five hundred dollars. But I, I, I suspect. Phil, hold the trigger for thirty seconds before cutting. Okay. So we probably just got to prime it. Yeah. Um. So just put it in like that. This is far and chain. Okay. Make sure it's the right stuff. I mean, that twenty-five dollar chainsaw has lasted me so far this year. I think it's about on its last leg because it kind of has a little burny smell to it. But this will probably last me longer, especially because it has an oiler that works. Yeah, no. Milwaukee should last you a long time. They make good stuff. So it said 30, 30 seconds? Yeah, it said the... Oh, I guess there's no gas for it. Because <laughs> yeah. I was thinking I have to pre-max now, right? Yeah, See, I'm, I'm already... When filled, hold trigger for oh. 30 seconds before cutting. Probably just a... This is called a squinch. How do you do this? Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kick back was. Oh, okay. That, that, my one doesn't have one of those. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna find the file. You want to do that? I don't know if you need to. Well, I'm just gonna do a little once over just to, to tickle it, it, you know. It's pretty sharp. Is it 30 seconds? starts hovering. I'm wondering if there's here, take your hand off of it. Yeah, we got oil. So I, I, I guess, does it like build up a film underneath it and yeah. push yeah. the chain up? Pulls it. Nope. Oh, I guess that's it. Yeah. I think that's... Seems to me sharp. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll carry this with us just in case. Imagine, I mean, brand new chain should be. I paid five hundred fucking dollars for this thing. It should be yeah, sharp. Should be. <laughs> but I don't. Know, I, I, I with it too, or No, that's just it. Oh, at least I got that. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess you don't have to worry about gas and all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to yeah. worry about the fuel sloshing around or anything. No premix or whatever. It's very sweet. Mm. The real question is, how does it do like the long cutting, you know? Because that's what I do a lot, cutting lumber. And this uh, this oak's pretty hard, white oak. It was um, it chipped a bunch of the teeth on the other one. Oh, these teeth are actually narrower. You you wonder if they maybe make it quicker by making the teeth narrower? 
to maybe like less of a cut. warming to the idea. At the very least, my Patreon viewers are the ones that bought it. And they're the ones that said it was a good idea when I asked them. So thank you very much to my Patreon viewers. And uh, sorry, my Patreon supporters. I am getting pretty hungry. Let's go get lunch. Thank you. Yeah, I was kind of afraid it was going to be like really wet, but it's, yeah, it's, it's absolutely dry. It's perfect to ride a full road down. Yeah, that'd be fun. A little squirrely on a motorcycle, though. Look at this. Somebody... Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hey, is that a concrete pole? <clears throat> It is. It's like a concrete road sign. It's kind of creepy. Why? Oh yeah, that. Drag mark and a footstep. Well, someone probably was dragging a stick. Or a body. <laughs> that's not what a, that's not what a body looks like when you drag it. I should know. Well, what do you think? Should we tackle that one first? Should we see what's in that? Okay. Because I always kind of wonder like if it'll be rotten all the way through or if there'll actually be some neat wood inside. Oh, I bet you got back there to be. Yeah. I like there might be good too. I probably should have like safety gear on, but mindfulness is pretty important too, so. Safety third. Yeah. Safety squints. So I think I'll just kind of start my way back. See what happens. <laughs> it actually gets pretty good. Like butter. I know. Oh, look at that. Oh, fucking big spider, eh? Fuck. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to... Child in the head. Nope. He's fucked up his home. Yeah, he's really mad now. Can you imagine that, just sitting, chilling, and all of a sudden a fucking saw come through your house. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, okay, it's always a surprise. I'm gonna go back here now. That actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, what do you, do you think I should save a piece for that to make a mallet? Like a big mallet? No. Like, um, something like that? Because yeah. John was wanting a, a bigger mallet than the one I made him, so. Yeah. It's too soft or smell that. It does have some tree smell to it still. Yeah. Well, I want it to be kinda of soft and springy. Oh. So I guess whenever I do this it's gonna kinda of tumble, right? Oh uh, you're I'd... should I do that side? Yeah, if you're gonna cut that, I'd leave that there so it keeps it up. This is pretty fun. Like I, I didn't think it was gonna be this fast. Yeah. And you know it's actually not that loud. No. Hey, you want to try? Okay. Are we still at four bar? Yeah. So that's oh, nice. So that's not really using much power at all. Not right there. Sure. That went the opposite way than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was further than the ground there. Yeah. Oh well. What if you're smelling the 
the bar oil. Oh, that might, they, yeah, that might be the, the sweet yeah. smell. Yeah. Here, let me. You know, that actually doesn't look all that bad. That could actually be used for something. So, I'm gonna cut it right there. The very least, it could be firewood. You might fall on your foot. Let's huh? push it away. It's nice. It looks yeah. a little soft. Yeah. It cuts good. I mean, because I think this would be a good thing for me to carry on my e bike and like take to the woods or That's something like that. I was thinking too, it would be good for like on a four wheeler. Yeah. Gas sloshing around. Because you know, when you, you tip it over and it just leaks everywhere. That's pretty cool. Hey, hey, uh, bring it over here. Let's, let's, uh, let's take a look at this stuff here. You think this might be a little too far gone? Actually, no, I guess I haven't really cut into a lot of these trees, so I don't really know. Um, Wait, no. Really where? Okay. No, that's a maple tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, I don't see any poison ivy around here, so that's good. This is probably have too many rocks in it, but should we try cutting this? Mm. Cut a section out? <clears throat> Yeah, unfortunately, this would be like a lot of sand and dirt in it, but I'm fine with sharpening it, you know? So should we uh, cut like a slice yeah, off? You cut it you want to cut? Hey, you can cut it if you want. Let me get the... Any vermin come out, warm me. What? Any vermin comes out, warm me. Yeah, don't worry. Any, uh, any creepy quarrelies? This is pretty fun. <laughs> It's like an adventure. Oh, hey, there's a thing me and Bill found. It's like the radiator cover or something. To an old tractor or something. Or an old refrigerator. Ready? Yep. Oh, that's a little rotten, isn't it? Take another slice out. That is dark, dark. Yeah, that's weird. Almost like a walnut looking too. If that is, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be good wood. Here, um, you know what? Let's take a bigger piece out just so we don't ruin it. Like right okay. here. Yeah. Cause that could be, I don't know, it'd be kind of cool. I would want a dark wood for like handles or something. Soft that's good. Yeah. Aria? No, I just kicked back. Oh, okay. I didn't want to touch the blade to the ground, so I did. Yeah. That might actually be pretty cool wood. I'm glad we did this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let <laughs> me should get another piece. You want to cut another piece out? Or I wonder if we have any or something we can do with. <laughs> yeah, let's cut another piece out, okay? Yeah, be easier. That's actually kind of nice. That might be like a walnut or something. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard wood. Yeah. It's real nice wood. Oh, weird, look at this piece. Look at how that looks. Yeah. This could actually look pretty good for like a stool cover or something. Imagine once, if we get into here, you know? Might want to bring a brush to... Wipe some of the rocks out of there because there's a lot of rocks. Oh, you got it. 
That's heavy. Yeah. That is weird. You know, what if we uh, just got into lumber right here? Do you want to? Kind of like what I do in my backyard. Yeah. Should we? Oh. Think it'd be good for lumber, or should it be for discs? Oh, it's full mallet. <laughs> Bit big. Huh? Bit big. No, I meant. Uh, oh, okay, the, the okay. Wood color is nice. So um, know, yeah, here's what I'm thinking. Nice wood. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, if if we really like this wood, then we could get really nice sections out of this part. This part would be nice, like lumber. We can cut it down the middle. We get smaller too, easier to carry. Just split it in half and then you cut it later? Or? Yeah. Well, cut it in half and uh, cut it down the middle. The quarter saw it, pretty much. What do you think? Because that's that's also what I use this, this saw for, is quarter sawing. You think it'd be good for lo long length? Yeah, if you could chop them. I want to quarter them. I could just maybe make some boards out of them or something. Well, that's what I mean. Making my quarter saw on boards. Better to cut this way, I think. Kickback. different colors it's so weird look at that i mean I it's, been, it's, it's been in the woods so long like decades so yeah. well, it's been, been under the water yeah it smells like olives hmm. i'm smelling the chain oil too but yeah, yeah i guess that could be it um i guess i could continue this cut it's not too big we still recording? REC. What? REC. Oh, what does that mean? Record. Oh. Oh, I think R R A C is it? R E C. Rack. <laughs> with that part and I'm just kind of going back and forth eating it down is that probably good might result in kickback I don't know yeah be careful on the tip. <laughs> Two bars, so it's not lasting too long. Well, that's, but I'm doing. I'm actually doing lumbering yeah, here. Yeah, you're cutting some heavy stuff there. This is like walnut or something. So you don't want to like put it up straight up and down so you can get a good yeah. gauge on that other side. You want to try finishing it? Yeah, sure. So I guess you can use the. Uh, yeah, I'll use the pack. Though. Yeah. You know, it's actually cutting narrower than my other saw, so, yeah. Anytime you rip like that, that does it. Well, no, I'm meaning ripping. It's cutting narrower. Oh. The other one, yeah.
actually ripping and not just going on the, on the end. It's, it's slowly just... Moving. Yeah, but you're getting really fine powder. So if you go like that, it'll cut better because it's getting, getting bigger chunks, you know? Yeah, I thought it was just because your blade was getting duller. No, it's, it's because you're cutting on the end. Although it's, yeah, I think it's more efficient to cut it like that because look at those little things. Yeah. Look at that wood. That is cool. That is cool. It's like brownish red. I'm going to keep a piece that of that. Oh, when did it stop recording? I don't know. I just heard it beep. Oh, I think okay. it was right when. It, uh, this, this camera has a weird thing where it only records 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll let it sit too long. Either way, that looks amazing. Look at that. It's like reddish brown. All that weird stuff in it. It's almost purplish in some spots. Some so, yeah, it's like a walnut to me. Yeah. Not, it's, it's a shame this has so much like gravel and sand in it, but I imagine there might be a table in there somewhere. Yeah, if it's not too rotted. Should, should I start cutting from the end and see what we find? Um, or should we go tackle that big one again? I think this is more interesting. Like yeah. yeah. See, I knew, there's some, I knew there was some cool stuff in here. Cut a little bit here and see if it's. Sounds good. We're down to like one bar on the battery. I bet that battery is pretty toasty because normally you're not supposed to destroy batteries that quickly. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to clean this out. Part of the bridge or something? No, that's a trailer hitch like a tractor or something. Ball hitch. Yeah. Are you recording? Yep. Oh, that's, that's nice wood. That's actually kind of cool. Even on the end of it, it's yeah, it's a little rotten, but actually yeah. pretty rotten. Like really dark brown. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately that looks pretty rotted, but it looks it is cool though. When you get further in there it might Yeah, it's hard to tell. But, uh... Oh, actually down to two bars is also, that's not bad, it's out some life. From what I can tell, like, just some farmer, like, cut this down and bulldoze it into the creek, right? Yeah, it's probably, 
on that side. Wait, there. it used to not be here. I think it washed up in a, in a, in a flood. That's some weird wood. You know, there's another spot that I know of further down the creek that there's a bunch of logs that just gathered up in a big flood. I bet there's some neat stuff in there too. So. <coughs> Could use a little sharpening, like a little dull. but I'm starting to overheat. Give me a cut. Uh, I'll probably let it go down because I don't know how what the duty cycle of it is, you know. It's probably not designed for cutting logs. You know. That is a little warm but not bad though. Yeah. Hey. You can try if you want to. So what I'm doing is oops, sorry. I find that um so you'll want to continue this cut how it is. Um, you want to go as horizontal as you want, as you can, because then it, it really scoops out the long pieces and makes them more efficient. Um, and doesn't burn up your saw. That is getting pretty hot, but I've been cutting with the very tip. I was always taught not to cut with the tip, but... Yeah. It's definitely wet. Yeah. Here, I'll cut this way, and like you said... Should I get a rock to hold... Oh, here. Okay. Some wood. Yeah, let's uh, prop it up with. Okay. Here, wait. So, because you're having so much stuff here, here, you know, here because you're having so much uh, stuff come out, you have to keep some distance. Like, probably that much. It does clog up that, doesn't it? It's better part now, what do you think? Like it, huh? Oh, no, that's not me. Let me just finish it up. Yeah, see, I think you have to. Oh. Battery beeping at you? It's also, you're not giving it much room for it to do. Oh, 
Yeah, we should. Some more in there. We should. Uh, It might be on top of it. Yeah. See, I, I try to keep a little distance here. This is really hot here, so there's a lot of friction. But it's handling like a champ, so. Yeah. That's nice. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm definitely not disappointed. When I get home, I'm going to clean out the bar and make sure all that oil hole is all fine. Because I honestly haven't really done anything with this. Mm. What? No property. Yeah, because I just loosened it. No, I don't have any property. Oh, it's all gummed up. Yeah. Maybe I should have brought in that little thing to clean it out. I should have sharp I should have uh, straightened it more though. Should we just flip it or okay. I think maybe yeah, turn it on. Yeah. Maybe flinch. Okay. You wanna That's cool that actually has a little screw for tightening. I think you should maybe call it and yeah. clean it out at home. You don't tear it up. It's gummed up in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's see if we can split the only bad thing about cross cutting or yeah. long cutting with a saw like that. Here, should we drop it on that? How much it be? I think it's in like an inch or so. If it's hardwood, it should. Crack. Watch your saw. Yeah. No. Oh, well, there we go. That's some neat wood. That'll make it easier to carry. Mm -hmm. If we want to keep it. I think we should, though. Okay. That's cool. You sure you got that? Yeah. Okay. Then again, you are a lot stronger than me, so I'd barely do one at a time. So this will probably be a two-part video, right? We'll, yeah. We'll continue the other half of this next Sunday. So, but I'm really happy with this. I'll probably want to sharpen it up and, uh, clean out the little channel and the, the bar, make sure I'm not fucking it up on day one. Hey, and the file I was going to use is the one recommended in the manual, so that's good. And I believe this little tool, I just realized, I bet that is a little scraper so I can scrape out the, the thing. Or maybe I realized that before. Either way, it's a good idea. I fully agree. I got a little overexcited and I uh, I didn't really check to make sure that I was doing it right. I didn't make sure it was tension right or whatever, but oh well. So that probably left the chain to be a little loose, which allowed junk to get inside of it. And I bet the uh, oil port is all clogged up. My father had to go into work today, so we can continue this next week anyway. Yeah, there's some gunk in there. Let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's good. I had this problem a lot with my other chainsaw, but that was also because it wore out so much it was loose because they didn't have an oiler. And I had to have like an actual hand oiler. I would lift the chain up and toss it in there.
which is not ideal. Oh, and another good thing, I just realized it's symmetrical, so I can flip it over. The other chainsaw, the electric one that was 25 bucks, it's not symmetrical, so I can't flip the bar. Well, that's nice. That's a nice little tool. You should be able to handle that. It's not a real test until I angrily throw it at a tree though, so I don't plan to do that. Stick and span. Looks like some of these long stringy bits of uh, when I was like really cutting the long ones got stuck in here and started burning. And caking with oil. And I really like this thing. You can actually it's a it's a screw that adjusts it. My other one doesn't have it. You just you just hold it out really hard and tighten it down. It's pretty it was $25. You know, that is one nice thing about buying a brand new chainsaw is you actually get a manual as opposed to buying one that's refurbished or just some random one at a yard sale. So that is kind of nice. Quick question for you guys. It says to pull it back three millimeters and make sure it pops back. Is that okay, tensioning? I think that'd be okay. I think before, since I didn't even touch this, it was not tensioned enough and that let a lot of gunk in. I could be wrong. Or, or whenever doing a lot of that stuff, maybe I just have to open it up and clean it out like every couple cuts. I mean, it probably would be a good idea just to be very adamant about maintaining it, you know. Cool. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling so much like I threw away a bunch of money, even though I kind of did. But I am a bit hopeful that this can actually last me a long time. And me and my father were talking about it. And this actually would be a cute little chainsaw to carry out into the forest or whatever. And like carry on the back of a four-wheeler or whatever. And then you don't have to worry about spilling gas or whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So since it doesn't have gas, it probably doesn't need much of a carrying case. Which makes sense. I mean... I probably wouldn't use a carrying case either, but um, if only there was a good way to put like a sling on it, like to have it around, you know, almost like if I got an old camcorder camera strap, but it was like kind of beefier so it could go over my shoulder, like kind of like, almost like a, a post bag or whatever. This Milwaukee is a, a little chunkier than my works chainsaw. The bar's also a little longer too. I mean, is it? Yeah, like an inch. So I figure what I'll do is I'll use this for gathering logs in the forest and then I'll still use up the electric one in the backyard because, you know, there's no reason to burn up a battery in the backyard or, or I'll get my big 1950s David Riley going and I can use that to cut logs into lumber in the backyard and I'm thinking this old 1980s steel or still um, 
bar and chain oil. I probably won't trust it in this fancy one, so I'll keep using, using that up in the other st in the other ones. So let's see. Oh, I've already chewed it up a little bit. That's one downside of having such a high gearing ratio is you can't turn it. So, well, I guess. Oh well, that's probably why it didn't turn. I'm still learning. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Shame break, of course. Well, you learn. A lesson well learned is a lesson not forgotten. To get used to having one of those now. It's a nice safety feature. My finest sandpaper and uh, it turned out pretty cool. A little rough there. I really need to run this to like a planer of some sort, but uh, some linseed oil should do. like a walnut. Huh. And it is soaking it in nice, so that's good. And now I'm not sanding this side because I'm lazy and I, I really don't like using that thing upside down.
Yeah. I'll go back to using a brush for linseed oil. It'll be a lot better. Let's try some of this stuff. It's like um, polyurethane sludge. That looks kind of garbage. I think I'll stick to boiled linseed oil. I don't know. Actually, it gets okay. The guy at the hardware store said that's like a thick varnish for old stuff, but I'm not thinking that's quite what that is. I do not know what kind of wood that is. Looks neat though. Seems like a fast growing tree. That's actually quite wide compared to the likes of oak. And this is that like polyurethane stain stuff. Maybe we're supposed to add more coats. Those, um, it's almost like the, the rays or whatever in that wood is really odd. Some nice hard stuff too. I, at least it seems hard. And judging by how there's no bugs in it, I guess this is a fairly rot resistant tree. I wonder if, could it be cedar? Uh, cedars, I don't know. There's so many types of trees that I just don't know about. So I just went and edited all this footage up to this point. The video is a bit longer than I expected. And this wood is soaking up that linseed oil. So this might be one of those things where I just kind of set it in a bunch of linseed oil and let it soak it up. After looking it up online, I think that is walnut. At least it looks cool like walnut. So making videos is a bit of a skill that once you take a break from it, you, you lose some skills, you know? For some reason in my head, I was thinking I had maybe barely 10 minutes worth of footage. Uh, I didn't, didn't expect that I had almost an hour worth of footage. Because I was thinking the video wouldn't end up being very well, but it's like, ah, eh, just leave a lot of it up. That'll be fine. So, I figure we'll end there, and then we can continue this next Sunday. Whenever me and my dad go and do more, or maybe me and Bill will do more, I don't know. I'll probably have to help him with his house, though, because we're we, he's getting the basement going really well. I'm really happy with this. I still feel a lot of pain for spending $500, but I think that it will be a nice tool that, I mean, if, it, if I have any, any issue, any issue, Milwaukee or Rural King, one of the two is going to get an earful, because I paid 500 bucks for this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!